receive us. Well, we got it done, so uh, let me show you what it looks like here. Um, unfortunately, uh, most of the time when I show a video, I like to show something that at the end looks great. Unfortunately, this kind of job is not that sort of job. It's more uh, function than beauty. So let's take a look at what we're dealing with, and I'll kind of explain it to you. Um, and then we'll talk about how to uh, get the seed in. Uh, I've done our rough grade here. And uh, let's look at how the catch basin set in. So this is the main drain catch basin after we're finished. And you can see as we uh, walk the trench, <clears throat> as I've done my rough grade, I've left the dirt uh, kind of piled high in the center of the trench. I've done that because of settling. Even though I packed it down before I backfilled it, and as I backfilled it, I left it high because it's going to settle. Uh, secondly, I'm going to come back later with our slice seeder machine to seed this. Now we're coming up on the first catch basin. And you can see from this catch basin how it's pretty much at ground level, maybe an inch or a half inch below ground level. So as we looked at this job before, we know that everything grades downhill um, right down to this catch basin right here. Uh, so that's our first catch basin, or actually the last one before it goes out to the municipal drain line. Okay, we'll come back farther. Catch basin number two, this is where we had the cable line. This is where we had uh, two T's and the pipes going either direction. So we got one pipe going out that way to the termination point. We had another line running straight down through here. I've packed this in really smooth. Over here is our final one. And this is catch basin number three. Now this catch basin you can see I've made it low on one side because I've backfilled some of the dirt into the wooded area and if you look this way you can tell that the water is going to run downhill into this valley and run straight down into that catch basin and that'll tie into our second catch basin and that'll tie into our third one right by that tree and then on down to the mailbox where the outlet is So hopefully uh, this has helped if you're planning on one of your own projects or if you need somebody to do one for you in your uh, Central Ohio area, you can call us. Um, but uh, a couple things to consider. Uh, simple in theory, but you have to get your grade right. Also, there's a lot of material to move. For this job, I've brought in about 11 tons of gravel, uh, 57 rounds. Uh, also, I had to take back about half. Uh, I don't know if you can see my truck all the way over there but you can see it's full of dirt in the back uh, so I had to take back about um, I don't know I'd say six or seven tons of dirt because of course when I put gravel in the trench it displaces it so there's nowhere for the dirt to go uh, some of the dirt I graded in into the uh, wooded area to help the flow because there was low pockets back there uh, so keep watching. I'm trying to share a couple of different types of projects other than just straight up uh, landscaping that we normally do make stuff look great. In this situation, we will come back in about two weeks, maybe three weeks, uh, after this top bumpy stuff has had a chance to settle some. Uh, as I mentioned, it rained two or three times on us uh, when we were doing this project. That makes it a little bit rougher to get everything looking just perfect. Uh, when you leave. Uh, sometimes I can get it to where there's just about a foot to a two foot wide trench along the area. In this situation the grass got wet, it got rained on, uh, the dirt had to sit on the grass longer than I would have liked. Uh, so it made it a little bit tougher to grade everything smooth and keep everything super clean. Um, hopefully you'll keep watching. Please subscribe to me and uh, I'll keep doing some projects that will uh, hopefully uh, help you to achieve something of your own.